Hi beauties and curls, welcome back to my channel. Today is a long awaited haul and maybe I should say hauls because I am going to come with uh, my 21 days of beauty but I also wanted to include some Sephora. And by the way, if you are new, I just want to welcome you and say welcome to the channel. It's Melissa Q. What's up? You are family now. You're seeing this for the first time, but you're a family. Yes. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notifications. It's going to let you know whenever I'm uploading. And by the way, I am uploading every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. Yeah. Okay, so first of all, let's uh, talk about uh, the infamous Sephora VIB. I yeah. am VIB Rouge, so I did get a chance to go into the store. I didn't do any online uh, orders just because I was going out of town and I shopped the day before and I shopped the last day so that's why it didn't go up and I'm so sorry that I didn't give you guys recommendations it will come the next time I was getting ready for my sister's wedding so yeah that was the reason why and I was on a crunch time so anyway this is the bag and it's a tote for sure it's so cute i did not pick up too many things from the vib sale i had a gift card and really i am into luxury uh trying some luxury products right now i am coming with popular brands that i haven't tried or i want to try more of so stay tuned for that video but the first thing that i did get was the Sunday School Vitamin C AHA Retinols by Sunday Riley Kit. And it comes with the CEO Cleansing Oil, the Sunday Riley Moisturizer, the Luna Oil, and the Good Jeans. So I've been wanting to get the Luna and the Good Jeans. I've had deluxe samples of both of those. Fell in love with them. And yeah, I wanted to get this because before I make the investment, like, you know, I haven't tried these in a while, but before I make the investment, I know I'm probably going to get the large size. I do want to try other things in the line, and I felt like that this was a great way. Y'all know I'm coming with my favorite skincare products. This probably, unless it like blows my mind, which it probably will because it blew my mind just in a sample. It may not be in that video, but I did want to show you guys this. And you get good amount. You get this, you get one fluid ounce of the uh cleansing oil this is a cleansing oil i have the moisturizer and this size is five um point point five ounces so it's a half an ounce and it smells like oranges yeah pretty much yeah vitamin c and this is a repair moisturizer and whenever you use repair things i automatically think spf i use spf on my face every day and this is the luna oil i this stuff a little bit goes a long way because it is thick so um i'm glad about that and then i have the all the good jeans and this size is 0 0.34 0 0.34 ounces this one i'm sorry i didn't tell you is five milliliters i know this is retinol so you want the next day to definitely have a SPF after this so yeah really happy about this this was this retail for $60 but of course I had a gift card and I also got 15% off so I was really happy about this okay so the other thing that I got is the Marc Jacobs Omega bronzer this is the coconut perfect tan limited edition one I know I could have got the black one the the black case one but the white one looks so much more sleek and I love this shade in here and <clears throat> I love this because it's not going to blind you with the mirror but there is a large huge mirror behind here and smells like coconut I love this and it's a large like this is a big pan I am a bronzer fanatic I didn't know that about myself till I saw pretty much most of the things that I've hit pan on are bronzers. Yeah, that's in a whole nother video, products that I hit pan on. Thumbs up this video if you wanna see that. But anyway, I wanted to get the sleek packaging and I wanted to try more of Marc Jacobs complexion products. I have not found a foundation that I want from him yet. I tried one of them and it was way too cakey. But I kind of knew that because it, I felt like it catered more towards oily skin and I have more normal to dry skin. So, yeah, I'm really happy about my 
purchase. Those are the only two things that I picked up. I did pick up a peach corrector. My sister saw my peach corrector by Urban Decay. I cannot believe how much I'm out of that. Like I'm running really low and <clears throat> she loved it. I tried it. I used it on her and you did it in her makeup. So it was the last day and I was in Mississippi. So I purchased that for her, but that wasn't for me, but I did buy that from the sale. But those are the only two items that I got from the sale. I did really, really well. But before that, I was kind of like accumulating things. And I did pick up the Kevin Aquan, the contour palette. This was on sale online. Don't sleep on Sephora online. And if you don't have the app, get it because you get early savings and get Ebates. You get cash back. So not from the not only from the sale you get cash back too. This is the Kevin Aquan. This is the contour palette four in one face essential. So I love Kevin Aquan because I feel like not only does he give you a product, but he teaches you how to use it. This has instructions on sculpting, highlighting, bronzing, and blushing. And I mainly got this because number one, it was on sale, but well, it was more so number two it was on sale number one was because it had the sculpting powder in here that i've always wanted to try i did not want to pay like 50 dollars just for that sculpting powder i got this i want to say for maybe this was between 25 and 30 dollars i believe i will um have to look it up and let you guys know but not only does it have it's the sculpting one in uh medium which I believe would work for me, but it also has a bronzer, a highlight, and a blush. So this is perfect for traveling, I feel, but I, and it has a good mirror in here. Yeah, I really, I'm so excited to try this. So, and it, these are colors that he has in his line. He just actually just formulated and put this in a palette. So I'm really happy about that. I did not get that during the sale. I saw that online and I just picked it up. I was just cruising the i don't want to say the aisles but carousing the the channel so yeah okay so the last thing no i have a couple more things oh let me tell you also from the sale i did get my birthday gift um i went ahead and got this this is the codaly uh this is the codaly this is the moisturizing sorbet i've tried this and i do like this i haven't paid attention how moisturizing it is but I use it and I guess it would be good and this is the radiant serum so I'm really excited about trying these I will come back and probably let you know but I love these birthday gifts that they give it I think that they're phenomenal from <laughs> I think that they're from phenomenal from Sephora so I really do love that and I do love Caudalie I have the beauty elixir somewhere up there and it's one of my favorite like finishing sprays and you can use it to moisturize your skin if you're dry I love it I love it it gives that glow okay so the other item that I got was the peach this is the brightening powder by Kat Von D her locket line so I'm excited about trying this I got this a while back but I only had like one or two items and I was like I know that I'm gonna go to Sephora again so let me get this yeah so this is the brightening powder and I'll probably use it in a get ready with me um, I don't know if I'll do a first impressions I may come back and just do a review on it let me know I'll put a poll over here let me know out of the items that I'm showing you guys what you want to see in a detailed review okay one last thing I got the Ren the Ren clean skincare ever calm global protection day cream my sister really loves this and I gave her mine from my ipsy glam bag so I actually wanted to try this myself and it comes with half an ounce so that's enough to me to determine if I like this or not but I've heard great things about Ren skincare it's clean and she is more she's trying to trans transition her makeup collection from her makeup and skincare from just like regular to cruelty free and vegan so I want to try that and see how it works so you know these are the infamous products of Jen Atkins and I love the texturizing spray so I wanted to try the shampoo volume this as a set came for only $28 these are expensive but that was a great deal I got the finishing cream and I got the hair oil so I wanted to try some hair products but I want to let you know you can get these from Sephora but I did get a deal from Ipsy from these so 
Thank you, Ipsy. So that is all from Sephora. Let's move on to Ulta. Okay, so this is from Ulta, the 20, the 21 Days of Beauty. And I did pick up some other things that I was accumulating. So Ulta is actually a bit more. I did enjoy the Ulta sale a lot more than I did Sephora VIB this year, honestly. And I'm kind of excited about going platinum with them more than VIB Rouge. I'm just saying. Okay. Come on up. Come on up, Sephora. I love like cashing in points, but Ulta kind of got you on that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. First of all, what I've been using that I got from the Sephora VIB, and this is the Buxom. This is the Big Bold and Sexy Makeup Bag. I have been loving this because to me, this is the perfect size. It's not too small. It's not too big. I feel like I can put everything that's essential to my face in here. So I have it in this bag. And I think I'm going to come with a What's in My Bag Travel Edition. Because this handbag, this bag, this backpack saved my life during travel. Yeah. Anyway, um, I did pick this up. These are the Eco. I took it out of the container, obviously, but these are the Eco Tool sponges. I want to try these and see how they work. So I got these from the sale, although they weren't on sale. But I used my three fifty, three dollars and fifty. Wait, three dollars and fifty cents off, like a ten dollars. So I use. I got this the Shiseido cotton pads. Now these are things that of course weren't on sale, but I did pick it up during the same, I think around the same time. I bought some full on lip creams. I got it in Dolly and White Russian. You were only limited, I think, to two per order. So I got this and then I got that makeup bag. So um, these are the two, y'all. I didn't, I'm not going to get the makeup sprays, but I did pick up four Smashbox primer waters, two online and then two in the store because there was a limit on those as well. Like I said, in my 21 days of beauty, and then I picked up the pure hydrating mist. I'm going to show a picture in here. I do have it up like stored away just because I'm getting through some other mists before I break out those but the primer water is amazing and I don't know if you guys know that I do freelance makeup and prom and bridal season is upon us right now so I love like stocking up so I'm probably not going to need any more mists or sprays because I did get some fix plus too so I'm done with that the next thing I did not plan on getting this I planned on getting the pure bought this both of them had even reviews but this double duty just kept calling my name and when something calls your name you say yes yes i'm here so this is and it's so cute this is the confidence creamy powder foundation i got it in medium tan honey i was on the hunt and y'all know i have been on a hunt for a powder foundation so i have the i have the what is this I have this one that I talked about in my current favorites, the Laura Geller, but I wanted to try some from some other brands that would be really good because that one does not make me look powdery and I want this one. This one said creamy powder. So I was like, hmm, it's probably hydrating and Tarte. I don't remember too many Tarte products that I just like don't like at all you know it may have been like for a shade or something like that but it comes with a sponge it comes with a cute compact that you can just like stick the pack in the pouch and the packaging is really really nice but this is one of their from their double duty lines this i want to say is exclusive to heart uh this is exclusive to ulta so i picked this up. picked up are the real technique sponges i am currently using one of them and i really do really do love this size the reason why i got these is because i wanted to use it with my nars soft matte concealer i actually um i think i got the wrong shade and they didn't have the right shade so I had to take that back to Sephora and I just exchanged it. But um, for, I think, uh, for a gift card and I used it that against my Sephora VIB. But I am going to get it again from the NARS Boutique here in LA. So I got these, you know, for under eye concealing. But I really, really, really do like these. I actually like these better than the Beauty Blender Mini. I feel like that these, you have a better grip and the flat part really presses 
the concealer and the powder if you want to bake or set into the skin and it came with four cute little ones and you know we don't clean these like every single day so you need something to rotate that's clean the other so. thing i got was the fiona styles luminous finish foundation all of her items were 50 percent off the entire time i should have got more but i i needed you you gotta have a limit you know i got it in shade number eight and i did swatch the matte one i'll probably come with the matte one but y'all know me foundation base products are like a first date and then i go into color most of the time but yeah i picked that up from the sale as well so i want to say those are the only things that i got from the sale yeah i do have other things that i got from ulta so let's dig into those this i saw in this limited edition but this is also a choker and a headband i love multi-purpose products so i'm really excited i could have used this today but it's by scunchy yes but anyway excited about that i love that ulta sells accessories too I, this i was really going for because i wanted to try there's a Too Faced bronzer that i wanted to try the sweet tea i want to say and these two shades remind me of it but they have three in here so i want to see how this works oh but the pigmentation on these are really nice just light swatches so um, I'm really excited about this and makeup revolution is known for their dupes so it's pretty comparable I did get this benefit had like 25% off just I think randomly one time and I did get the it's potent eye cream this is one of my favorite eye creams of all time you'll probably see this in one of my skincare videos but I haven't even broke this one open because I have a tart one and I have a Clinique currently open this is the color prism this is their color source matte blush it reminds me of mac peaches a lot so i got this and then nyx had buy two is it buy one get one free buy two get one free i can't remember but i did pick up the illuminating palette and the blush palette because i am going to come with a full face of nyx like a one brand tutorial so i got these two i got these simple radiance wipes i've tried the green but i've never tried these so i wanted to come and i think i'm a wipe fanatic anybody love wipes i do but anyway got these i got this i am i love freeman's like mask i think that they are very affordable if you can't afford glam glow or you're not about that life freeman's has a great selection of skincare and their i really do love their face mask this one is a mask scrub cleanser toner for radiant skin it has it's a four in one foaming clay and it's an apple cider vinegar. So I'm really excited about trying that. And I was really excited about trying this because I'm almost, almost, almost done with my translucent crystal by NARS. And y'all know that's hands down my favorite under eye setting powder. But I wanted to come with the Laura Geller. Now, I've heard people say, don't use this under your eyes because it's so illuminating. But I think I'm going to use this as a finishing powder on my face because it does illuminate. And I think that this would, this also reminds me of a Givenchy. I want to say they're meteorites like powder or setting powder. So I'm really excited about trying this as well. Young Wild and Polish turned me on to this and I was like, girl, she, both of us love the under eye crystal setting powder. And she talked about this and I was like, girl, ain't nothing but a word. You ain't said nothing but a word. So I wanted to pick this up. I got the Total Control Drops. Caramel, 15. So I want to try this. Hopefully it's not too dark. But I did pick this up. I got this one online because they didn't, I don't think they ever had the shade in the store. This is my favorite. Y'all already know this is the Essence Lash Princess and Lash Princess False Mascara. So I got the Duo because you got 20% off. Yeah, so I got those two. Got some things from Revlon. Y'all know I love me some foundation. And I need to come back with Foundation Fridays again. But this is the Revlon Color Stay. This is in toast. It looks a bit dark. My toast, that's crazy. This is the normal to dry. The combination of oily was lighter than this. 
Mm. I need to see if I need a lighter shade, but maybe this will work in the winter months. No, in the summer, I mean. So yeah, this is to in the shade Toast. I think I need caramel something. Okay, I did get a NYX lingerie liquid lipstick and this is in the shade Corset. And I also got the Revlon Photo Ready. This is the Desert Dazzle. It's a green with a glitter. It's a shade -o. This is the Power Infusing Eye Concentrate. I want to try some more Shiseido stuff, by the way. I have a Milani. This is a, a more matte in the shade Covet. Kind of reminds me of Truffle Truffle Rain by Color Rain. So, yeah, got that. I got some Essence. I got a, a Makeup Revolution lipstick. This is in Love Nude. And that's how that looks. Let's swatch it. This is giving me like kind of sexy almost. Like um, a pinky peach. Which I really like to lip glosses from Essence. And these are in the shade Nude Candy and Life is Sweet. So got these. And I love their Triple X Shine. Triple X Shine lip glosses. So yeah. I got the color tattoo eye chrome by this is by Maybelline and y'all know I love the color tattoos in the color tattoos in the pot I love but this one is in the shade bronze sheen can't wait to try this and then I got the mini it came in a like a holiday pack and I have I think three more of these but this I took some with travel I'm really liking like some lip glosses so those are my hauls you guys i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up let me know what you guys want me to try and i'll stick a poll over here and don't forget to follow me on snapchat twitter instagram facebook i'm on all of those i am very 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 active on snapchat and twitter and instagram if you want to connect with me and chit chat and be girlfriends and curl friends so i love you guys and uh i think that's it thanks so much for watching and i'll see beautiful you in the next video bye loveys